Back in on Football Focus from Kickback Jackson on Battleground Avenue. Got with us Ryan Douglas. Hey, Ryan's here. Ryan, good to see you. Good to see you sir. Big game tomorrow night against Hopwood Andrews. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, how sir. prepared is Southeast for that Andrews game? Um, I think we are very prepared. Uh, we got a lot going on at South and Southeast right now, and it's, uh, it's going to be a good atmosphere with some good football. I think we're very prepared. Um, primary receivers, I know Trey Caldwell's one. Yes, Who are sir. the other receivers you look to? Uh, the other starter right now is uh, my brother, my little brother, oh, Adam Douglas. He's a 10th grader, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Adam Douglas. Is, I hear about Ron Douglas. I think about a guy named Bobby <laughs> Douglas. Ever heard of Bobby yeah. Douglas? The yes, Chicago sir. Bears quarterback? Yes, Wikipedia type of minister. <laughs> Bobby Douglas, excellent quarterback back in the day. But you got your brother. He's with you as well. Yes, sir. And again, his first name is Adam. Adam, yes, sir. Adam Douglas. That came in the backyard somewhere, didn't it? You yeah. You developed the yeah. pattern out there? It was funny. We were doing seven on sevens all off season. They were like, you guys just connect pretty good. And so. The coaches were a little surprised that he was uh, shining like that. So it was, it did was he good. play JV last year? He did, yes, sir. He did pretty well there? Yeah, he played wide there, but he played, he's playing outside receiver uh, this year. So. How about, here's another big question for you. you got to play good this year. No doubt your senior year, got to do well. But if you go down and decide that you've done so well, you guys are going to send the second team in there for a break for you, who's the backup quarterback? Um, well, we have uh, Zion Fleming, who's been doing really well. He's another 10th grader, so he's, he'll probably be our best at quarterback. And that's kind of locked in right now, pretty much? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Ryan Douglas with us, Southeast Guilford. The thing about Ryan is not I, I remember a lot about Ryan football. I watched you grow up, seeing you play, and following you pretty much. And then that game against Northern Guilford Baseball, you might have been a freshman. Oh, yes, sir. Because Beasley had you in the game, took you out of the game, brought you <laughs> back in the game. Devin Bradley runs a, over a little catcher. You yeah. guys win that game. Yeah. What a wild night that was. Yes, sir. Very a Memorable wild. night. That's probably one of the craziest baseball games I've ever played in my entire life. Unreal life. baseball game. Unreal game. Uh, Logan, the little catcher from Northern, was the guy that kind of got run through. But yeah. that's part of the game. Yeah. And you won Asheville. Baseball has become your game for college already. Yes, sir. So far, that's, that's what we're going to. I'm very excited about playing baseball. You have to be. you got uh, Carmine Pagano is already up there. Former yeah, Southern well, he'll college. actually be a senior this year. His so. senior year, freshman year. Yes, sir. So at least you got some guy to rely on. Maybe some kind of help you out a little bit. Yeah. That's good. That's good. When did baseball take precedence over football? I always thought in the back of my mind, Ryan Douglas goes to some large school. We'll see him in NFL one day. <laughs> but then now he's going to play baseball. When did you kind of decide that baseball you kind of took over? Well, uh, we always, it's kind of flipped back and forth over the four years of high school. I've had my mind set on one, had my mind set on the other, but uh, this last summer really is just baseball just kind of really showed out. Just, Were you doing travel or doing Legion? Yes, sir. I was playing a little bit of both, mainly summer ball, so travel ball. Did you play for the Charlotte team? Yes, sir, South Charlotte Panthers. Same South. team Jalen and Devin played for. Tough team. Were you pitching or playing in the field? Uh, mainly pitching. I would start most games and then I would come in and play the field whatever. First base? First, left field, pretty much. Pretty huh. much right. Now, when you go to college, they picked you up for college for primarily as a pitcher? Yes, sir. I'll be a pitcher only. Is there any chance you would see Asheville starts a football team in the near future? <laughs> they don't, I don't think they have that one down there. They do not have a football team. But uh, I don't know about starting a football team, but that would be, that'd be cool. Fun yeah. to go back to it. Yeah. Any, any outside chance to maybe have a great high school football season this year? Remarkable year, outstanding year. And you might decide maybe I'll uh, – Refocus. Yeah, everybody's doing this, this a thing to do. Say, now it's kind of a new trend, yeah. and you might uh, decommit and recommit. Yeah, I mean, uh, whatever happens, whatever provides the best opportunity for me and my family. But uh, I'm just looking forward to just having fun this senior year. Leave it all playing. open in. Yes, sir. Open scope. What's going to be done tomorrow night to have a success against Andrews? Andrews a bit under man coming in on some practice week. A little bit over there, home field off the wind, drive and high point. You're playing high point Andrews. What's going to happen, to you guys? What's going to click to make this a success? This opening game for Ryan Douglas and the Southeast Cover Falcons. Uh, we got to take what they give us, uh, follow our game plan. They uh, they got some athletes, but I think our uh, our strategy will be able to just uh, to really to really shine against them and be good. So. Uh, are you going long or going short or going everywhere? Going everywhere. We're what, going. What, are they, what do they give you, right? Yeah, exactly. You always take what you give you as a quarterback. Yeah. You talked about the receiver a little bit. What do you see getting called when you look out of him, Trey Paul? What do you see in that receiver? You um, look out there, he's on the field, looking to catch a pass. What do you see in that guy? I just see an outstanding playmaker. I mean, any That's anytime you give him the ball, he just he'll, he'll make a play. He's the same way on defense. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm. He's just free what about? You got Ryan, what about uh, your younger brother Adam Douglas? What's, what do you see in Adam? Adam is uh, he's very sharp. He run, he, he's fundamentally sound. So he's got those routes down? Yeah, he's, he's, he's actually a lot like Brent Apple was last year. What that guy last year? Apple came in. <laughs> Nobody knew much about that guy at all. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's up the sideline. He'll hit the dirt, hit the ground, pop back up, catch a sideline pass. Yeah. He'll be everywhere. Yeah. That was a great year. That guy had a breakout year. I he guess did. that was his senior year. He did. He's actually at Guilford right now. I oh, can't. man. He's, 
doing really good. So he's doing well there then. But yeah, I'll he's, see him this coming fall then. Yes, sir. Him, I mean, uh, that's the kind of receiver like was that guy's got all the energy, and you just turn him loose and let him go. Mm -hmm. He'll make any kind of wild grab and then get you some extra yards. Yeah, it's and and that's what see me and me my brother and Brent would go out a lot in the off season to the field and just throw around and so I think Adam picked up some things from him and, and he's he's playing a good game right now. So that's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, yourself. Are you inclined to run if it's there? They give you that run, you take it a run. Yes, sir. I, uh, I did a lot, a lot of speed stuff in the offseason, trying to get a little faster. But uh, I feel comfortable running the ball for sure. So you may tuck off quite a bit this year, then tuck and run. Yes, sir. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, best team other than Southeast around here? Who's the best team other than Southeast? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Um, who would you I say? I guess it's week by week, yeah, figuring yeah. out who the best team is. Um, Eastern Guilford's always got a good team. Oh, yeah, if you guys a good game, that's going to be a great game yeah. there, right? Uh, Dudley will always have a good team. Absolutely. That's going to that pop in my head. You don't get to play anymore. Well, Paige's got the same thing. Yeah. yeah. What about that game? I mean, we're just going all over the, all the map right now with Ryan Douglas just got in with us. What about that Southern Alamance game coming up? That game is <laughs> going to be very interesting. Uh, we are... We're going week by week, but I know that uh, that game is marked on the calendar for a lot of people. Yeah, it's going to be I've very interesting. I've heard a lot of people talk about it already. Yeah, so. yeah exactly. What about, what's your favorite pass play? I think you may have mentioned it earlier, but. My favorite pass play, uh, I like a lot of the crossing stuff. I like the deep ball. Um, really, I couldn't couldn't pin a favorite passing play. Yeah, you had Apple last year to take care of all those ones you just mentioned. Yeah. Has Trey Caldwell kind of assumed that role that uh, Apple had? Yeah, well, yeah, Trey will definitely be the, the long ball guy and uh, just the one-on-one the -on -one type type guy. Getting the job done, one-on-one -on -one and others. What about the NFL player you may pattern your game after? Uh, I used to I used to say when I was younger, I used to like Andrew Luck a lot. I used Absolutely, to, yeah. Just, uh, his leadership, his um, – his, his intelligence and his uh, playmaking ability. Exactly. So I guess um, I could. Do you have a favorite NFL team? I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yes, sir. Steelers fan on the way. Good stuff. So Roethlisberger might be the kind of guy you'd like to do. You're yeah. a little bit bigger in size. He's a, he's, yeah, he's a big old, big big old dude. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about a college quarterback you kind of follow and like? Uh, last year, Sam Darnold was just outstanding in my mind. He uh, he just blew my mind in the in the way he – he handled himself and made plays. So in your all time away from the high school football field, you're watching a lot of football then. Oh yes, I uh, I actually last last year I probably missed two weekends going to college football games. Wow, so you so I got attended to, the games. Yeah, I got to go to a lot of a lot of games. Who's your favorite college football team of all those teams you probably saw? Um, I remember I've gone to Appalachian State games since I was really young, and I did you and uh, did you games. and Jack spend some of those games? Oh yes, together? yes, yeah. all the time. Well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. a lot of fun. A lot of fun there. Um. What's the one thing that could cause you to miss a football practice? Cause me to miss a football yeah. practice? Yeah. Family issues. That's the only thing I could think of. Is, is Nothing else you wouldn't miss, no matter what. I, not that I can think of. Best way to end practice? Best way to end practice is uh, I like doing like two-minute drill situation stuff right yeah. there at the end. It gets everybody into it and uh, just kind of helps our game a lot. Are you a captain this year? Yes, sir. I'm a leadership team. I'm a leadership team. Who are the other captains of the leadership people? Uh, we got Brett Shreve is going to be our starting middle linebacker. Trey Caldwell is one of them. Um, Quantez Mansfield is going to be a really great uh, lineman on it for us. Jake Rapp, who's also he's a he's one of the guys that's kind of underrated a little bit, but he's a, a great leader. And then Chad Stevens, who's just a big play. play Chad's got to stay healthy, right? He's got to stay is he healthy. Playing running back again this year, some or just strictly he's defense. He's playing all over the place. Is he? He will special have, teams, got, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, a little bit of special teams, not much. Stuff. You don't play in special teams, right? I do not. You're, no. not, a, you're not like one of those uh, gunners. Tim, Timothy won't let me play any, <laughs> anything else. Okay, yeah. that's it. If you couldn't make your game on a Friday night because you guys got postponed or canceled, some other reason, who would you go watch? Um, I would like to go see Paige. I'd like to see the Paige quarterback a little bit. I've heard a lot of talk about him. I haven't really got to see him play. There he is. Yeah. He's a good one, Javon. Yeah. You haven't seen him play because you guys have all been busy. Yeah, we, and we and haven't really got to play, play him anymore because, because yeah. the Metro Conference change. Exactly. So tomorrow night against Andrews, what's the game plan as far as your personal plan? Some goals you got going in? Um, I just want to come out um, and just just kind of let loose, see what I can do, um, make some make some throws, and, and just see how I've improved from improve from last year. 
you come out wanting to throw early or just going to set the tone, whatever they give you, like you said earlier? Probably whatever they give us. I mean, you can't tell us the plays. But did the coaches give you back a list of plays, maybe five or six, seven plays? You guys have got pre-programmed going into the game. You know what you're going to run before the game even begins? Uh, is, that, is that something they do? We did that a little bit last year. Um, most of the time he'll give us a like an install, like a, like a beginning of the week, and then we'll kind of – go and like put plays in as the week goes along. What made you decide to want to play? I know you love baseball. What made you decide to want to play football? Why did you choose football as a sport to play? When I was little, I, I played football and uh, I guess I just always watched it on TV and, and thought it was a really fun sport. And uh, I like the camaraderie and the, the just physicalness of it. A lot of excitement in football too. You, yeah. don't get, you don't get pumped up, you get motivated, probably are not going to come out on top. Sometimes you can. There's a certain level of uh, I guess evenness you gotta have. You gotta be going yeah. crazy. You also even enough to be smart enough to keep yourself and keep your mind in the game at all times. Sure. Not let the other guy get you out of the game. Let your teammates get you out of the game either. I've had many coaches tell me that 90% of football is just mental toughness and, and the discipline aspect and like what you said, staying in the middle. Yeah, I think the football the success of football is done actually in the months like say end of May, June, July, early August. I think the training you do, the running, the lifting, all that stuff. If you're better prepared. When you take the field, because I go by some practice now and see some teams occasionally, if a coach is out there having to teach kids how to do drills in practice, to me, you're behind the eight more, way behind. For sure. you got to know the drills going in, yeah. you got to be able to do them. You can't go back and be doing that kind of teaching there then. It's just yeah. got to be second nature. Yeah, nowadays, uh, you you've, you probably have, should have been playing football for a long time before you get to the When did you start? I started playing when I was like seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. So I played for our youth program, the Southeast Sharks, when I was – Seven or eight years old. It was, actually, it's a, it's exciting year because all of our seniors played together. When we were pretty much almost all of our seniors, especially the leadership team, played with each other when we were eight years old. Grew up and played together since yeah. the beginning. Yeah, wow. so it's, it's going to be a fun year for sure. Senior year for Ryan Douglas. Ryan, thank you much. Thank check you out Bobby much. Douglas. Check out uh, <laughs> his uh, name on Chicago Bears back in the day. You kind of remind yes, me a little bit. And uh, always a watch to play baseball, football. Great family, great people. Southeast Governor Ryan Douglas. Good luck tomorrow night. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in. Take the